This is shaping out to be some fucking year, isn't it? 2020 is shaping out to be a wild, wild, wild year. Seemingly, without any motherfucking boxing going on, there's more boxing news than you can keep up with. A lot of shit going on, man. So, um, Showtime let go of Paulie Malignaggi. To some people's delight, to some people's, um, the opposite of fucking delight, I guess, to their, uh, whatever. They're ticked off, right? I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. I normally, right, if you if you listen to this podcast, you know, whatever, if you've been hanging out with me for a while, you would probably say that this guy, I might have dropped some hints, but this guy is, um, is big on his free speech, right? I think that, um, I think that the only speech worth protecting is the spree- is the speech that you don't agree with, right? You know, if everybody's going around saying all the sh- same shit that you agree with, you probably don't even need the First Amendment. But, you know, nonetheless, there's, there's people that you disagree with and you kind of make a pact to where you say, okay, well, you know, as long as you can say your crazy shit over there, I'll say my crazy shit over here and we just won't fuck each other up. We won't kill each other based on that and we won't put each other in jail and we won't so on and so forth. So I normally err on the side of, of free speech. You know, I would normally say that, uh, and I was kind of freaking the fuck out. You know, I, I, I had to be like talked off a ledge today. I called, reached out to somebody. I said, yeah, you got to explain this to me, right? And we had a whole, I mean, we had a long, deep conversation on, on everything. But the point is, is that, see, here, here's, here's what maybe, what maybe I missed. And I went back and I thought about it and I read the article and I guess for the, for brevity's sake, right, Keith Eidick, he writes the article up and he says, Paulie Malignaggi gets uh, fired or let go from Showtime. I don't remember, but that's what that's the, uh, the gist of the headline, right? But you read it and you realize that, I mean, it's a little bit more, as, as most things are, it's a little bit more complicated than that. Uh, there was a point to where, so, so Paulie does this interview with IFL TV. Um, makes some comments again, you know, it was linked in the, uh, in the article. I clicked the video, it got pulled from IFL TV. So, and I, I didn't bother to see it because it's, it's immater- immaterial. I don't think that it even matters what he did say, but he makes these comments. They are, um, racially, you know, charged comments or provocative comments. And, and, um, I guess at some point, somebody from Viacom or somebody from Showtime reached out to Paulie um, asked him to apologize, and Paulie said he wouldn't. Here's why I don't have a problem with this, right? And it's probably not what you think. I don't care what Paulie thinks, to be honest with you, man. I, you know, and I don't really care what anybody in boxing thinks, um, with exception to what they think about boxing, you know, because that's what I'm in it for. I don't want to talk about, I mean, I know that we've broached the subject of politics on this channel, but I would hope that you can, you can see the connection I've made every single time. It's got nothing to do with the politics. It's got to do with whether or not the person that is speaking is, it can remain consistent, stand on their square. That's it. That's all the fuck we're ever talking about. Because as a reporter, you know, or as a uh, content creator or somebody that's involved in this boxing thing, I'm just trying to get as close as I possibly can to the truth. And in order for to do that, I need to know who the fuck it is that I'm talking to. So I go over these interviews. I, I read these things. I, I just, okay, what, you understand what I'm saying? Is this person, can this person, is this person full of shit or not? That's really what it is. I've got no other way to say it. Is he full of shit or not? Now, again, I don't know that I agree with what Paulie said. I don't know what the fuck he said. I don't care what he said. Does it matter? But Paulie Malignaggi, right? I'm I'm pretty sure that if you could say anything about Paulie, and this is what we've been saying for re- for years, is that Paulie keeps it real. Right? At least on the commentary tip, he keeps it real. I think it's known 
you know, that Paulie's a, a uh, you know, a free speech guy himself. I think that some people, um, you know, would even consider him to be right leaning. Right. But when pressed, when pressed, OK, Paulie Malignaggi, and you might want to take this away from him because he's got some money. But when they pressed him and they told him to put his fucking money where his mouth is. You know, are you willing to, in order to save your ass, in order to save your money, are you willing to go back on something you fundamentally disagree with? Yes or no? If the issue was, uh, uh, syst- was it systematic, systemic racism? I think was the, uh, you know, do you believe in this concept or not? And if, and if you said you didn't, are you willing to back, to, are you willing to backtrack on that for money, essentially? Right. Again, I don't, you know, I don't give a fuck if it's real or not. I don't care. I only care about the boxing. Right. You know, in terms of like, you understand what I'm saying? In terms of why I'm here talking to you, we ain't talking about right or wrong. I'm just, we're just talking about that the guy stand on his motherfucking square and, and showtime too. Look, listen, you know, at the end of the day, Paulie Malnagy love him or hate him or fucking whatever, right? He was a good goddamn analyst for Showtime. Best in the game. Showtime's losing something there. But nonetheless, Showtime said, no, we can't have it, you know? And they they are paying up, uh, you know, they've agreed to pay him for it a certain amount of time, and they are going to pay him to sit at home. So they're, they're even on Showtime's end. They're keeping up with their end of the deal. Right. Paulie saying, I can, you know, Showtime saying we can't have this. Paulie saying I'm not I'm not budging. OK, so it sounds a lot more like an amicable split to me than than a firing. So on some level, I'm cool with it. On some level, it's like, you know, listen. It is what it is. Right. But we but we also have to look at it like this. And, and, and this is strictly from the perspective of somebody that enjoys the sport of boxing. On some level, right? Because we're I mean, you, you've got a a rush of emotion of, of people feeling um, vindicated. If you've been calling him a racist this entire time, okay, he's gone now. And if you're feeling vindicated now, you're probably saying, you know, oh, this is great, fuck him and whatever. And you're probably willing to to take the trade off at that point. You know what? I'll take worse commentary. Uh, you know, so that so that I don't have to hear it from a racist. And if that if that's if that's your deal, then that's, you know, then that's cool, right? In my case, and this is just me, I don't give a fuck what anybody fucking thinks. I really don't, as it relates to boxing. I don't care what's knocking around in your fucking head. If you're good at what you do as it relates to boxing, because you know what? What's knocking around your head ain't fucking reality. You know? And as a matter of fact, I, I encourage people that have crazy shit in their fucking head, I encourage them to say it so that I know because it's a fucking crazy person. I'd rather it's out in the open. That's just me. But again, if Showtime let Paulie go based on that, then Showtime's looking for a certain kind of person and, and they're looking for a person that is smart enough if put in the position that Paulie is to apologize. Or, or at the very least, not say it to fucking begin with. And listen, that's that's a good thing, right? If the, if this is what you want for your company, but as a boxing fan, you've got to understand that that defect of character in Paulie Malignaggi that made him so impulsive, right, to where he can't help himself from in an interview saying something that is, uh, uh, you know, provocative enough or or or. I guess, you know, racist enough, right? Let's just say racist enough. I'll give it to you. I, I haven't watched it. But if that's the case, he that same impulse is what makes him good in, in boxing, right? That same defect that he's got in this one area, right? In, in spite of his own bank account, in spite of everything, he cannot hold his tongue if his conviction is, is driving him to say something. That's what came out on, on, on these boxing shows a lot of times. And that's why we liked them. 
they actually loved him, right? He was, I mean, Paul, he, I don't, is it still cool to say Paulie Malangi was good? I don't know. Right? So, I'm not expecting Ab Abner Morris to be able to jump right into Paulie's uh, shoes. I don't think that he should. Paulie's got 10 years experience on him in this, in this racket. But again, I, I listen, if I'm a betting man, I don't think that anybody's approaching Paulie on that tip. And I don't think that, you know, you would necessarily, I don't think it would be smart to do it because Paulie's been walking a line for a while. You know, as far as I'm, as far as I understand it, he's been walking this line for a while, just barely skating by. So as, so as boxing fans, we need to understand that's the trade-off. And listen, if we're down, if we, if we are going along with this in the name of, um, you know, in, in the name of progress, I'm willing to go along with you. I'll, you know, I'll fucking go along for the ride. Let's hope for the best with Abner. But it's a slippery slope. Right? And if and, and at some point, if you continue to go down this road, you're going to end up with a situation. Right? If we continue to say, okay, that's no good. You know, apologize or get canned. Maybe Abner, he's a fighter. You might say, go fuck yourself too. Maybe Abner's got fuck you money too. At some point, if we if if we continue to go down this road, and again, I don't give a fuck what Paulie said. Don't know what he said. Don't care what he said. I'm just saying, if we continue to go down the road, you're gonna end up with a with a guy like Raheem, fucking at the helm, a guy that'll say anything to save his ass, a guy that'll say anything for money, and you don't want that. You know, we've decided that a long time ago. We don't fucking want that, right? You know, so I mean, I, listen. Call him a racist, call him a lot of fucking things, but, you know, strictly from the perspective of just looking at a person that is exactly who he told you he was. A guy that's not going to fucking back down from saying what he believes to be the truth, not me or you. Paulie's Paulie. Here's what I do have a fucking problem with, though. I got a problem with this, right? I look at that article, I click the link, and it's private. I'm not going to tell anybody what to do with their channel. Believe it or not, and if they're hearing this, believe it or not, I like the guys over at, at IFL. I like Umar. I like the work he does. I think he's a, a good reporter. Dare I say, better than me. The kid is good. Why pull the video, though? That's That, to me, is is that, to me, is odd. And again, I'm not telling anybody, you do what the fuck you want to do on your channel. But here's what I will say. The interview is on your channel. I click the link. It's private. Now, we're here, I would imagine, to document the history of boxing as it happens in quote and video, in video form. I'm not here to tell Paulie Malignaggi what to think or Devin Haney or anybody for that matter. I'm just here to ask the questions and whatever comes out is what comes out. When you pick and choose as a as a um, as an outlet with eight hundred thousand subscribers, when you pick and choose what you feel is worthy of being on your platform and what's not, in terms of what message you stand behind. So if you're saying I've got to pull this Paulie interview because the content of it is so beyond the pale and so racist, I have to pull it off of my channel. We would have to imagine a number one, you heard it a few months ago and you didn't find it to be racist or you had a change of heart now, or you're pulling it so that Paulie Malignaggi, uh, um, you know, does not get dragged through the media. One of three things, but nonetheless, it's not journalism and it's not, it's not, what you should be looking for if you're looking for the truth because here's the problem with that again you're probably saying why the fuck is this guy telling me what i need to be but here's why because once you open the door to that and you say okay i cannot stand by this message then you're essentially telling people that any other thing that any other fighter said on your channel as it relates to race if it's still up on your channel come tomorrow that those are messages you can approve of. So if there's a black fighter disparaging a white fighter, 
if there's whatever. And again, I don't, you know, I, I would, this would normally be the gotcha moment where I pull up some kind of clip. I'm not invested in it like that. I don't know. But I'm sure it's got to be there, right? It's got to be there. I mean, boxing is a is a, a sport. Let's not get it twisted, right? People get riled up over race and country and so on and so forth. And I bet it's fucking all over your channel. And that's the problem, right? This is the problem. This is the slippery slope. Because if you say, I've got to yank this, you got to yank it all. So you either stay out of it and leave the boxing news up to the public. You leave bad ideas in the marketplace of ideas. And if they're shitty, the public will denounce them. That's how it works. We'll take care of that. But when you hide it, and when you pull it from the public, and people can't see it, right? I mean, I'm sure I could have, you know, listen, if I, if I really made it a thing to where I needed to find that video, I could find it and watch it. But that's, that again, that's not the point. The point is, is that it was, it was pulled for a reason. The point is, is that this is, right? This is the, the record of Pauli Malignaggi. Whether you like it or not, the boxing public has a, I, I would think, right? If we're doing this for the sake of getting the fucking truth out to the public, the boxing public has a right to decide over time. In history, where these statements belong. What category we put Pauli Malignaggi in. And if you just yank it off the fucking internet, then we can't do that. Right? He's denied on some level a, 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 a trial in the public. Because we don't even know what the fuck the words are. And on some level, I mean, again, I gave I gave Keith Eidick the benefit of the doubt. But on some level, I think he was I think he should be writing those words down, too. So that we all can see. We're all grown adults. We all know what's bad, what's good, what's white, what's right, what's wrong. So you let the fucking chips fall where they may. That's what I think. I could be wrong, though. I don't know. 